That was some sick fucking music, man. I gotta say. <laughs> nah, not really. It was alright. But anyway, let's try to throw that in there in the beginning. Anyways, what's up, guys? This is Grun HD here with another, with another commentary. I was about to say fucking commentary. I don't know why. But, um... Another commentary here is, uh... It's finally a, uh... Finally a, uh... It's finally time to discuss live versus... Or, live. Well, I'm really spitting this commentary, but I'm gonna keep going anyways, because that's how I roll. Um... 2K versus Elite. My final opinion, my final decision. I played the hell out of the Elite demo. I was given it as much, you know, as of an opportunity as I was to 2K. I've probably played both demos now about the same amount. Maybe 2K a little bit more, but it's been out for a while, so I can't really blame that. And um, so, yeah, my final, you know, decision on, you know, which game is better. You know, I got a lot of flag, not a lot, but, you know, a few people in the comments last video did mention that. They just, they didn't like my, you know, analysis, and I, I, I left a description, in the description, explaining, you know, that was my first impression, like, literally after two games, I was about it, two games in the tutorial, and I literally, I said literally way too many times there, um, uh, I put it in my, I put it on my computer, you know, I recorded those two games, put it on my computer, and I just started recording the commentary, my first initial impressions, and, um, now that I've played, you know, Elite, probably... I don't even know. I, a lot. I've played it a lot. And I've gotten the controls down. I've, I understand the gameplay. Uh, you know, the graphics obviously have My opinion on the graphics haven't changed. And that's nothing that's going to change. But overall, my opinion, you know, my first impression still kind of stands. I mean, it seems really simu similar. Uh, my, my opinion now and opinion then are uh, pretty much the same on the gameplay. I mean, the controls uh, weren't as bad as I thought, but they still they still seem overly complicated. I understand that they're trying to go for some, you know, a new dimension of dribbling. I don't like that dimension of dribbling, if that's the new dimension. Um, you know, some people think you can... I mean, you might have more control, but it just feels horribly awkward. And, I mean, I, with all things, obviously, if you... Um, what's it called? Uh, learn the controls, you know, practice it. It will become more fluent. But, honestly... I don't know. The biggest problem with the dribbling, and this was mentioned actually on an Operation Sports like podcast sort of thing, sort of thing. Uh, the Cesar, the leader of Operation Sports, makes a lot of good uh, videos. He made all the videos about the um, about uh, like five teams before 2K11 came out and their offense and the AI and how it's extremely you know better and improving 2K10. But um. What he mentioned was, yeah, the dribbling's nice and all, you can do a lot of dribbling moves, you know, a lot of control, but the problem is, with no turbo button, you can't execute the dribbling how it should be. Like, uh, like uh, you can't play real basketball, you can't get past your man. This is exactly what I was saying in the demo, it felt like I, it was really challenging just to get past my man. And I even, you know, that was with uh, Superstar difficulty, I knocked it down to Pro difficulty, and it still was really hard. I mean, without a turbo button... After you execute a certain dribble move, if you can't change speed, you can't get past your man. It's just like this in real basketball, and it's just like this in a video game. You can't. It's really hard to get past your man. I mean, your man's got to be just. I don't know. He's got to be asleep. I mean, it's really easy for him to get in, get in your way when you're not changing the speed. So, it's just a glaring flaw with the whole new dribbling system. The, now, the other, the only other selling point is the real time physics. And there's plenty of videos now on YouTube. I haven't personally, I need to probably put some up, but if you've played the demo, you know what I'm talking about. The real-time physics are, they're just broken. They're not working how they should be. They're not real, real-time physics. Um, you know, one player's animation might be correct, but the reaction from the other players are often just completely wrong. And so, like I said, or I've, I haven't said, but... I will say this, that the real-time physics engine, that's a great idea. That's something that should be in basketball games. I mean, I would love it to be in a basketball game, but you got to do it right. And they did not do it right. So I can't even give them that. I mean, overall, to, you know, Elite 11 is just, it's, and once again, I'm re going to refer back to that podcast I listened to. It's a great informational uh, thing you should all listen to. I'm going to put a link in the description. But, um... The Cesar, leader of Operation Sports, he mentioned that uh, what Elite's goal was, since he knows, you know, uh, this guy's got connections with, uh, he got 2K11 early to put videos up and 
know, he knows a lot of developers on both sides. Uh, he did a lot with Elite 10 uh, last year. And what he said was basically Elite's goal this year was to get to a new audience. They, they decided to basically screw the hardcore fans, screw the sim players. Their audience was going to be more mainstream, uh, more of a casual audience, not the hardcore audience. And honestly, if, uh, you know, most of you watching this are, are, are part of the hardcore audience. Most of you from the 2K forums and... Um, you're obviously, if you're going to 2K forums, you're a bit more of a cat than a casual fan. So, their audience is changing. Their, I mean, that's why I guess the gameplay changes drastically. I mean, the visuals obviously were reset. Everything, you know, from Live 10 was basically scrapped. Like, they really wanted to go in a new direction. It really, you know, it confuses the hell out of me. I don't get why. You know, Live 10 wasn't that far behind 2K at the time. 2K10 just had more features. The gameplay honestly could go either way honest in a lot of situations um, visuals I like both things about you know both games once again I mean 2k 10 probably you know definitely had the visuals slightly but 2k or elite 10, or elite uh, I'll just call it elite 10 or uh, live 10 whatever uh, wasn't that far behind in the graphics honestly a lot of the animations on live 10 look pretty good and you had more com better dribbling on live 10 for sure and you know Basically, what they do with Elite 11, they just they scrapped it. And they just felt like, you know, they didn't make progress with Elite 10. Even though if you look at the reviews, I mean, they're close. Like, they're really close. And they should have looked at that and said, you know, why are we scrapping this? So, I don't know, man. I'm rambling here. I mean, the last little thought on that is, you know, maybe Mike Wang, with Mike Wang leaving, I'm, I'm, I don't know, man. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, I rambled a lot in this. If you're still listening, that's sick. Uh, uh, I'll give you props for going all the way through. Uh, yeah, so this has been Grenade D. Subscribe. We'll have a lot of videos coming soon. They're not coming soon, but on release date. The videos aren't going to be uh, that uh, plentiful right now just because, you know, I ain't got much to put up. It's basically the demo, and that's it. I sold my 2K10 uh, back to GameStop, and that was for a trade in just for 2K11 and some other games as well. Um, I want to get some, you know, some trade-ins on that for the value and decrease even further, so I don't got much to put up. Um, I could put Call of Duty videos up. I mean, honestly, if you want to see that, drop that in the comment section. Uh, I'm not the greatest Call of Duty player. I'm, I mean, I'm all right. I average like a 2KD. Uh, if I put a video up, though, it would be a lot better than 2KD. But, yeah, so if you want to see that, let me know. And, yeah, when the release comes out, though, Definitely, I'm gonna have a, a ridiculous amount of videos. Uh, I'm gonna have all the Jordan challenges. I'm gonna have the, you know the Jordan career thing. I well, I don't know about the Jordan career thing as much. I'm not really into actually uh, that Jordan career thing with uh, where you're playing with the you know NBA players of the day. I'm not really into that. Um, but I mean, if there's demand, I'll play videos up of it. But uh, yeah, a lot of my player videos, association videos, which is all gonna be uh, with you guys. Um, yeah, you guys are going to decide, you know, what I play and, you know, all that stuff. I'm going to show the whole creation process, really cool stuff. And uh, definitely some online games as well. We'll see how many cheaters are online using the heat. And uh, see what I can do with the Lakers against them. That's, you know, that's my counter right there. Lakers are going to take heat. And, uh, yeah. If you're still listening, awesome. Seriously, awesome. Anyways, I've been rambling way too much. Uh, I'll see you guys later.